What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another Terrascope reading for the last half of November for that ass, okay? Now, I'm really hoping that this is a reconciliation. If not, it definitely can be a secret partner, okay? So everything that's going to happen in this reading is due to the fact that either you are going to have a secret reconciliation or you had a secret third party. You choose. Whatever the situation, not only is there a lack of an ending, but there's a lack of a beginning. So that's what the situation could be. That you're really trying to start new with somebody else, but you aren't able to because you cannot end or you are avoiding the ending of something else. You're just trying to handle things as fairly as possible with the justice card here. Maybe you married to this person and you actually have to get a divorce before you can move on. But I just want to say the first three cards out... The first three cards, I was major arcana, okay? So, for a lot of you, this is really going to happen, okay? It looks like you're trying to avoid um, hurting somebody. And that could be why, you know, you are avoiding closing this chapter out with somebody with the Ten of Swords in reverse here. Either that or... I'm getting two different stories, but let me just get this one out. Either you're trying to avoid hurting somebody bad by leaving them. Because truthfully, you do have love for them uh, as the King of Cups here. You're just not in love with this person anymore. This is like a lack of emotional connection. But here you are as the King of Cups. So maybe you guys have kids together, longevity, history. But you're just not feeling it to that extent with this person anymore. Instead, you know, there's one person in particular that stands out to you. And I can see it being, you know, you see this person in the middle. You know, everybody's celebrating, but this person is pouring emotions all on themselves. So, you know, you could be dealing with somebody Pisces. Wow, I didn't even realize that this is your card too, the high priestess. So you definitely showing up. So even though something here is being kept quiet, kept on a low, low, you know, no uh, foolish behavior could be involved here. But ultimately, it's looking like you want to start a new beginning, but you can't because you don't want to hurt somebody by leaving them behind, leaving them in the past because you're trying to act, you know, in a gentle energy. You're trying to care about this person's feelings because of y'all history together. So let's see what comes out in the main spread, Pisces. This could be you or your partner trying to avoid this ending or this closing of a, a closing out of a cycle. All right, can I get some messages for Pisces? Sun, moon, and rising for the last week of November. Pisces, someone rising for the last week of November spirit. Pisces, someone rising for the last week of November. Ooh, what was that? Wow, okay, the fool is in the upright. So maybe you get, and the world. It's looking like you finally got brave and ended that one cycle so that you can start up a brand new cycle and take a leap of faith. Wow, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. For the first half, yes, and you went rushing in towards the person. You went rushing in towards this person that you want to make this new beginning with. And yes, you confessed this. Not only to them, but probably to the partner that you left behind. Like, look, I'm feeling somebody else. I no longer feel tied to you. You know, I want to go be with somebody else or whatever the case. But the secret came out. The high priestess is in the reverse now. So somebody spoke on it. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Oh, Knight of Wands here. Okay, so I just really hope, you know, Pisces, it could be a situation where you're not even leaving for somebody else that you literally just want to have a good time. You don't want to be tied down to something anymore. And that was hard for you to tell somebody because with the Knight of Wands, I don't see committal energy. I see the energy of you just wanting to have a good time. And that three that three of cups could have literally been you, you know, maybe you like people, you know. Maybe you got somebody in mind that you would like to build with in a long haul. 
But for right now, I feel like you just want to have fun and enjoy being single, you know? And here's that Ten of Pentacles in reverse where you letting go of something that had the potential to be legacy for you. Or, it, you know, it already was long term and you just decided, look, change your plans, baby. I want to be single again. But it's literally looking like you was taking a path of commitment and you just changed your mind out of nowhere. Okay. Wow. Yes, the main lady came out. Main female, the sun card. Wow. The documents, which I view as divorce papers, especially in a situation like this. And leaving somebody behind. Wow. And it's like you knew it all along or you knew it for a long time, but they didn't. And I don't know if this person that you're leaving behind, you have kids with or what, or if you have kids on the outside, but it's definitely a lack of a new beginning. And you finally going to tell this person with the messenger here. Okay. Why is the world card here? Spirit. Ooh. Yes, you no longer see hope in that situation. So you need to close that cycle, make a choice because one situation was no longer growing. You didn't see the prosperity or the abundance in that situation anymore. You didn't see it going anywhere. So you just leave it. And this actually came out in reverse, but for the sake of positivity, yes, and the house is in reverse with you moving out. Because you feel like something was just unhealthy, period. Okay? You feel like the family sector was unhealthy, confusing. It was a lot of illusions there. You was very confused about your feelings. So you kind of just took that as obviously I'm not as connected as I thought. Because some, with somebody else, I know for sure that I feel like that. You know, you moving towards somebody that fulfills your expectations as a partner. Why is the high priestess here in reverse spirit? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for October. I mean, ooh, the last, <laughs> the last week of November. Yes, courtship. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> you courting somebody that meets your expectations. Are you moving towards somebody to actually court somebody that fulfills your expectations? I dropped a whole bunch of cards, guys, so hold on one second. Okay, so, wow, y'all, mm-hmm. Out of one night stand situations, this person probably had a child on the outside. It seemed like the water signs all got this somehow. So it could be a water sign that literally has ca uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces in their chart. Okay, so why is the Three of Wands here? This person is wanting to see if they can build with this person. Gosh, yes. And they abuse and they power. They see something different somewhere else. And instead of them being honest, they just decided to manipulate the situation in their favor. Wow. Okay. With the court here, definitely a divorce on the horizon or a splitting of asset change. So this person will be relocating. And yes, they've been a very fake person to you. But they're out of your life now. Snake in reverse. So, the fake people are behind you now, uh, Pisces. You know, yes, it's going to take time to heal from a situation where, you know, you definitely felt, or this could be you, uh, Pisces, that's leaving the situation and starting something new. But, yeah, I definitely got this for all, all of the water signs, for sure. Something similar. All right, so let me get some oracle advice for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I see someone arising for the last week of November. I see someone arising for the last week of November. Oracle advice for Pisces, someone arising. <laughs> wow, a whole half a deck came out. All right, well, one of those was meant to come out, and that's Thinker in Reverse. And as you can see, this person's mind is plagued, plagued by thoughts. Spirit is saying, just clear your mind, declutter your mind. <sighs> just like have literally 
uh, I don't know, like spring clean your mind, okay? Get all the negative thoughts out, um, especially when it comes down to either moving forward or healing from a situation where somebody is moving away from you to somebody else because that is painful to, to process. soulmates yeah pisces this this person you was with or this person that would uh or if this was the person you was with by the book they didn't go to by the book they wasn't your soulmate even if you felt like they were and you have an opportunity for a new life now last but not least so even though this didn't go right it was this person was here to teach you a lesson so that you can move towards somebody that will do you right and you'll recognize red flags from here on develop self-love sometimes things like this is the catalyst to to us loving ourselves so okay pisces that's my cue because the video keep turning off and i'm super tired so um literally i'll do fire signs tomorrow i will catch you guys later but first like share subscribe join the soul tribe and i'll catch you later